that's it. That's the intro. I want to thank you guys for watching all the content, and I appreciate you clicking this video. If there's any information that you feel that I left out that's really important, definitely make sure to leave a comment below, and I'll make sure to make a video on that as well. Again, if you enjoy the video, definitely make sure to leave a like. And if this is your third or fourth video that you've seen from me and you keep clicking them every time you see them, thank you for the support. Definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That being said, let's get into it. Um, so this is just some work in progress stuff. My guess is most of this has to do with just um, streets. It's just my guess. I believe that none of this has to do with anything to do with the expansion of factory i mean all of this just looks like you know uh, houses apartments so on and so forth nicer areas so this was back this was in march so i have not done an update video in a while so for me i just want to kind of start with the old stuff and then get to the newer stuff this has me excited i want to say that this is the ak5c but I'm not necessarily 100% sure about that guess. Um, the only reason I say that is kind of because the, the, um, the game that I've been playing has an AK-5C in it, as well as I've had the ability to play Rainbow Six Vegas, which also I believe had the AK-5C, or maybe it's Vegas too. Um, so very cool, very good. I'm hoping that this is something that they're going to be bringing in to the game as kind of a different um, variant of the AK platform. So that'd be pretty cool. And then today, um, well, yesterday, when you guys are watching this video, the 6th of, dang, it's May already. Wow, May already, guys, can you believe that? Um, they had some images. I believe that more than likely this will probably be all there on like a playground or go on um, shoreline with all of the other wood carven animals. Someone in the comments for this was like, could you imagine a bear running after a PMC? I thought that'd be pretty funny, but obviously this is not that. This is like a wood sculpture. Um, this looks to be some form of suppressor, I believe, but I'm not 100%. Definitely looks like it goes over the entire barrel of a weapon, though, which is kind of crazy. More um, hex stuff. So, I mean, maybe this is like a hex suppressor. I don't know what they're going to call it. And then this kind of reminds me of a PPSH magazine. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be 762 or 545 variant just because of the way that this is kind of made. This seems like a newer, more updated uh, magazine. Uh, another barrel maybe goes on the, that AK-5C that we saw. Looks like a 704 pistol. I don't think that's going to be a, like an actual pistol. This looks like a rifle or of some sort, I believe. But, again, I'm not a big gun nut, so I could be wrong. Um, new pants, because you can never have too much customization options. As well as just some high res tree and ground um stuff i'm wondering and this is this is just a guess i don't know i'm wondering because i don't know how how they develop this stuff or anything like that but i'm wondering if all these little things are maybe leave or snow or something along those lines obviously we saw it in another image here on the bear I don't, I don't know what these are. I don't know if these are just different points and this, they have like their nodes out here. I don't know, but that'd be pretty cool if they're, you know, kind of fiddling with snow and whatnot would be pretty cool. So that being said, that's kind of all I wanted to show you guys on their Twitter recently. Now to kind of talk about when we may be getting a wipe. So if you guys remember, I'm going to keep some of these pictures up here. If you guys remember, there was a podcast i want to say like two or three months back um maybe it was in february and they were talking about the streets of tarkov but then they said that we're gonna get a um factory update as well as an update to um, a new map which is the lighthouse so they said that we would more than likely receive both of those maps before we even got streets of tarkov so my guess here is will kind of be you know the same that they've done in the past is what'll happen 
is more than likely we're going to see either Lighthouse get released, or at least the first iteration of it, or we're going to see the Factory expansion come out. Because with the Woods expansion, I believe we did get a wipe on the Woods expansion. So for me, I could only see us getting a wipe when they have a map expansion to give us, or they really just feel the need to reset the game. And that being said, I want to say maybe in one to two months we get a wipe. So December, January, February, March, April, May. We're five months in. I've seen it go nine months. I have. But I feel like next month, regardless of what happens, they kind of need to wipe the game. Um, that being said, that's just my opinion. That's, one, that's the earliest I could possibly see it happening is next month. And I don't know, again, if they're going to say, hey, you know, we kind of liked the random sporadic, hey, we're wiping tomorrow, deal with it, haha, kind of feel. And I get that, and that's kind of cool. And I, I mean, personally, I was kind of excited about that because it was like, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. Um, yeah, we're wiping tomorrow, by the way. Uh, and they just kind of, everybody just went, crazy for that i didn't play that day at all but i just know everybody kind of went crazy it was cool it was funny it was out of the blue um but i do believe that they kind of need to get back to sticking to like maybe a schedule or something like that if you guys saw my my uh you know two little wipes video or anything like that and i'll i'll attempt to remember to put it up here um we essentially have to deal with not knowing when it is and what i said in that video is that they either need to wipe it once every three months, once every four months, or once every six months. So if they wipe it every three months, we get four wipes a year. So that's you know, three, six, nine, 12, four times. If they wipe it every four months, we at least get three. That's, you know, four, eight, 12, okay? And if they wipe it, you know, two times a year, that means every six months, you know, maybe they'll off a few days or like a week or something like that. Um, Maybe they're they're off every so while, you know, off a few days on that, and we get two wipes a year. It is what it is. But for the most part, I think as of right now with the content that we have, we kind of want a little bit faster wipes. I think that every four months is kind of that sweet spot for, hey, I'm a new player and I want to buy this game, but I don't want to start when everybody has something crazy. So it'll kind of give people the ability to really get into the game at a good point. Um, and this would only last until they bring out the finalized um, separate characters. As you guys know, they are adding separate characters that would allow you to essentially have a character that stays the same forever and a character that wipes every few months whenever they decide to wipe this. So as soon as that happens, we won't really need to worry about this too much, and it won't really matter when they wipe. Um, but that being said, we need some form of, you know, cleanse, you know, cleanse the servers, the flea market, all that stuff, every few months just to kind of keep the game fresh with the content that we have, because all the people that have been playing are not like, oh, I'm struggling so much with the, you know, inability to finish quests or anything like that. If you've played two or three wipes, you're kind of good to go until, like, they release a new quest and someone figures it out. So, that being said, that's everything I really want to say. Long story short, they posted some stuff on their Twitter today, and they've done a lot of stuff kind of in the background since March. And, um... My thoughts are we'll probably get a map expansion or a new map by the time they want to wipe it. So as soon as they start talking about, you know, factory expansion coming or here is, you know, a trailer for, you know, the lighthouse map, something like that. I say give it about a month after that and we should have um, our wipe date for the most part. But that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video or think I left anything out or you had any questions that I can answer in a future video, definitely make sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if this is your third or fourth time here, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon to make sure you're notified for all the new information videos I bring out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you 
on the next one.